today I'm going to be showing you how to update the firmware on your T Manager. We're going to be updating this module and what's scrolling across it is its appliance name, its IP address that it's set to, but it, you can also see that it sh shows what version of firmware it's running. It's currently running 4.0.10 and we're going to update that to 4.1.2. Okay, so now we're logged into our T Manager software. We're logged into the module we were just looking at a minute ago. I'm going to go to administration and go to update and then you can click update appliance and it's going to ask you if you want to do a complete appliance backup and we're going to say yes and that's just a safety precaution in case power was lost during the update or anything like that. I'm going to save that and then I'm going to click yes I wish to update. Now I'm going to go find my update file. And we're going to go from 4.0.1 to 4.1.2. Just click it. And it says, as you can see, updating re requires the appliance to stop. So all your transactions are going to stop. And your store and forward queues are going to be cleared. And then it's going to have to restart the module to apply the update. So we're going to click select yes. And now we're in the process of doing the update to the module to bring it to 4.1.2. So I'm still running in the 4.0.1 software on my laptop and I can see that my module has been updated from 4.0.1 to 4.1.2. And if I double click and try to connect, you can see the error message I get. It says cannot connect to appliance. Appliance version is 4.1.2. It's not compatible with the current T Manager software that I'm using, which is 4.0.1. So I can click OK and close out of that. And then if I bring open my 4.1.2 software, I just so happen to already have it open, and I click Connect, I'll be able to connect and load into the module. And you can see all my projects and everything are still there and that's how you do a firmware update. Now we're going to go look at the module and see that it's changed on its LED screen and that the IP address and everything's still the same. Okay, we're back at our module. If you look right here, you can see that the IP address didn't change. It's still the same and that the name's still the same and that you can see that the versions changed from 4.0.1 to 4.1.2. If you have a topic you would like covered, please leave it in the comments section below.